Good morning and we are about to set off on a new adventure over into the Peak District and uh, Brendan, it's only seven o'clock and Brendan, <laughs> Brendan's worried about the route already. I, I'm ready mate, I hope this journey isn't going to be too taxing on your old, le on your old legs. Does he mean my legs or my van? Oh, I think he might be on about my van. Um, anyway, um, the, let the adventure begin. There's the fuel gone in. Well, that is the van filled up. Um, God, you used to have to put some diesel in these vans, I tell you what. But they do last a long time. That's the, the good advantage about it. Um, so I've loaded the van up. Um, I've got everything ready. And now it's... Uh, time to wait for Brendan and Matty um, let's see if they can make it on time today the time for me well the original time for meeting up was eight o'clock but Matty couldn't pack his little car in time and he needed that extra hour um, and uh, but he's the first to criticize Brendan yeah anyway um, we so it's been changed to nine o'clock so i've had to take one of the visits out of the out of the itinerary um you know it, the trouble is i suppose the problem is is when you're planning it they people don't realize how much work goes into planning a trip where we're going to stay and i've done you know i've done nearly a week's work on this trip already um just to even get us to the stage you know so when someone says I'm going to be an hour later, that really messes up the uh, the overall the overall plan. But oh, it's one of them, isn't it? Um, you know, I've, I've worked around it. It's just one less thing to do, I suppose. Well, the boys are here. Maybe we're having a bit of a debate on um, on uh, uh, Matty being late. But anyway, we're off. We're off now. First location: Beach Caves in Staffordshire. Ooh, don't you love a good road trip? I thought I'd get some practice in for Eurovision this year with a few tunes. Come on, we all do it. Well, we are nearly at beach now, and we are just off the 518, which is the Newport to uh, Stoke-on-Trent Road, and uh, we've got a really tight right turn now, which is pretty difficult if you've got a van, and I know they're behind me going, where on earth is Steve taking us? Look, even I have trouble getting around there, as you can see by the dash cam. There you go, I made it. So they're now looking at me like thinking, what's he brought us down this lane for? The, the, that's the usual look. Well, we're heading to Beach, which is just down here, uh, Beach Caves. Um, and it's just got a nice, really like narrow, narrow lane down here to get to it. But uh, so we are here at Beach Caves. Um, parking might be questionable, but um, I hope that everybody can squ squ we can squeeze in here. Brendan's just told me that he's he's changed a bit for him now. He's got a son because he doesn't take any risks anymore. Is that true? true? That's absolutely true. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice, isn't it? Hey, that's why all that's why some of the best urban explorers have have retired, haven't they? <laughs> retired <laughs> or died? <laughs> or died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, guys, this is. Um, I don't think I've covered this ever on a video before. This is Beach Caves here. Now this was actually utilised by the army to store bits and bobs in. But it's part of the Beach Caves um, sort of network along here. There's a big sandstone ridge which is basically a gigantic big um, sand dune um, on these beds. You can see that it's been laid down. The noise in the background is Brendan moaning. No, actually it's the... Um, it actually is the uh, the M6 because we're about to su we're about to sort of go over into the Newcastle under Lyme Borough, so we're nearly in Stoke. I think what's sad about this is the fly tip in here, totally unnecessary. You've got the old 
builder's bag the the uh, mattress here and what have you but it's it's a brute of a cave but cool that it's been utilized into something else but now it is the cave of darkness i mean it doesn't look very attractive does it like the jaws of death there to walk into this is matty's attempt to try and uh, impress me with his torch Right, well, we'll put that to use now, then, well, won't you, we? Well, I'll tell you what, see, he's got the biggest light. Matty goes first. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, they call this Hell Cave, it's nickname, right? Okay. Uh, just because of the graffiti, it just isn't, it's just horrible. Okay. But beautifully done. Oh, and the range has started as well. Yeah. Yeah. Come into, come into my cave. Won't you come on in? Come on in my cave. Come on, boys. Coming in. One, two, three. There's the first one. Should go up. There we go. There he is. Into the. Now, as a as a cave goes, this is this this is quite a big one. Let's just take it. You got the big what big one on Matty? How about that, mate? Ah, that's all right. <laughs> At least, they can see, at least my audience can see me in my lights. Look how that's all cut out, look. Wow. Yeah. So you said to me before I pressed record that this was once used by the military. Yeah, yeah, a military use, and then it, it's been used, I think... As what was it used by the military force? I think it was just, just storage. I don't think really? of, of bomb storage or anything, but look at are how it's been... Are we talking like World War Two. Yeah, but right. look at the roof and the pillars. It's... Come on, admit, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? massive and a lot of films have been filmed in here what yeah. films would that be um, in, look at that look at that look at that look Charlie's Anals Shaving Private Ryan when he was last here he came for an explore and the boy from the north saying yeah you can't come in there you can't be exploring here what makes this yeah so they were filming it they were filming a porn movie in here that is true <laughs> but look at the height of the ceiling Jesus. it's epic isn't it so this is a completely man-made yep camera. completely man-made right. it's massive isn't it Huge. see the chair there look for the porn movie <laughs> we need more cum <laughs> <laughs> Look at it though. It's, I mean, actually, our cameras can't do this justice. No, it's, it's very expansive, completely different to the nice temper cave that I saw. <laughs> Apart from you don't have to climb through a rabbit hole. Well, yeah, yeah. And you're not, oh, no, you are in white. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some things just don't change. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, this is Beach Cave. Dirt, yeah, it needs a clean up. See the word anal there straight away? Oh, Anal, yes, that's one of the famous movies that's been filmed here. Yeah, yeah. yeah all the movies are here, all the big ones. <laughs> Shaving Private Ryan, Charlie's Anals, <laughs> Forrest Dump. <laughs> Forrest Dump! <laughs> the inside joke here is that when I visited with my son here a while ago, they were actually filming a porn movie in here. I mean, you can, it's just... It's massive, isn't it? It is, yeah. I've got boobs here, I've got booby. <laughs> I have and I've got a penis as well on the wall. I tell you what I tell you what we'll all do if we all come in the line over here, let's do all come in the line. Yeah, co- <laughs> <laughs> right, let's do the claustrophobia walk, right? There's no way. Right? I am gonna watch you do it though. Right, I'm six foot two. It's not going to be long before I'm ducking down. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Off you go. I'll walk in a little bit with you. Shit. Watch your head. Does it get proper scrambly? Yeah, and it says Eddie Snowball under here. <laughs> oh, look at it, mate. This, for the, me, this is for all of you out there who are a little bit claustrophobic of the uh, cave. <laughs> what do they call it? Beach caves, yeah. In the village of Beach outside Newcastle and Delight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk up around the edge onto the other terrace. 
Is it me? Is it me, Brendan? Mm. Is, is he starting to look professional? Oh, he's a professional, all right, yeah. He's more professional than me. He's got a rig, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got everything he needs. Okay. See, all that, if he, if he, he knows as well, that is all that we had. Are you still prison. filming, by the way? Yeah. Right, look at our different setups, okay? This is Matty's setup. Proper professional knows what he's doing. Okay? Yeah. In it, the whole thing, anything. the media mod, lights, everything. Yeah, and me, and I've got even smaller, and I've got the, the Osmo Pocket, so, yeah, it's a different setup altogether, but that's what makes us individual. So, yeah. but, and obviously, it's clear he's, he's a lot more money than us. <laughs> <laughs> come on, poor Brendan. Anyway, so we come up round the side, you can just see, it's one massive outcrop of rock. They may be whistling and full of beans now, but they won't be by the end of the day. I can assure you. At least they put some windows in. You can see the remains here of of a floor of some kind. Here, this looks like. We have some kind of entrance into here, the way this opens up here, that would have been most probably bricked up. Because I've got a tiled floor right here. And then we've got this, so I imagine this would have been the storage area below, and then this would have been offices here because we've got quarry tiled floor here. I don't know, mate, I don't know. It's like a little, a little sort of um, level change here. Yeah, tiles here as well. So we're on some sort of office area. God, you're tripping down. I mean, I'm complaining about the office we've moved into. Imagine if this was your office. Oh, and we've got the look. We've got the Nazi um, symbol there. You can't come to. You can't. It has to be here, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Adolf Hitler, this is the Hitler department. <laughs> Hitler is great. <laughs> Obviously, there's, look, there's a load of them in there. That is literally, oh, there's a shag, 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 shag there, look. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind just go off camera a minute, please? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah. No, um. Yeah, it reminds me of like a candle. <laughs> Mate, look at my spotlight, bud. It's like a mile. Look, look at that. I need to get good Come on, let's just see where where does your spotlight? Can you go right down? But touch. Touch the back of the cave. The back of the cave? That, right, right at the back? Yeah. Okay. I think they were both as equal, do you? It's yours, though. Do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mate. Does yours do this, bud? All right? Does he do that? We're going to have a disco in there, mate. Look. <laughs> Anyway, you <laughs> thank you. I that, think you'll find this game set. That'll now. come in handy when we go to Glossop. <laughs> Red Light District and all that. Anyway, guys. That, that bit of art looks beautiful, that is. Don't die wondering. Now, that's a, that's a good saying, that is, isn't it? Don't die wondering. Because I think in life, we do wonder about stuff, don't we? You're either into, in, in this life, I think you're either two things. You're either living your life or existing in it. Well, there you go, guys. Beach cave done and dusted. Um, quite an interesting place. I want to I'll be interested to see a bit of the history on that. Now, we've just got to turn the vans around. It's very restrictive parking here. So, we'll get those vans turned around and jobs are good. And well, that's the first location done and dusted beach caves. We're going to go on to the next one, which is Chatley Whitfield, where we're going to hopefully the rain stays off, get some drone flying done. Well, I brought the guys now to Chatterley Whitfield, arguably one of the best 
drone flying locations for urban explorers that there is. This is one of the largest um, abandoned coal mines in in Staffordshire, probably in the country if I'm honest. Um, and it's absolutely stunning to fly around. Um, you can actually book um, a a, um, a tour around this place in beyond the gates um, and that's done by the the friends who look after this place um, and I've done it actually that'll be coming up on a future video a hill very similar to this may be the one that broke the camel's back don't forget to watch part two to see why so you can see the expanse of this site you can see all of the headgears there look you know Brenton's got his concentration face on now look that's me, that is. That's what I do. Was that, was that the Dave Outdoors one, was it? <laughs> yeah. That he did the last time. <laughs> so Bren, Brendan's coming in for landing now. Oh, do you want to see an expert landing? Yeah. Do you want to see me land on my face and cut my top lip? Mm, mm. <laughs> when the camera's rolling, it's normally what happens. He's coming down in the field. <laughs> He's in the nettles, he is. Jesus, it's jerky! <laughs> Brendan loves you very much. Come on, girl. And Scott. Ah, oh, he loves a handheld, doesn't he? <laughs> if you're watching this, Andy Cortex, he's your man. Who the hell's that? He's the man of the West Midlands Drone Club. Oh, okay. He's the be all of drones, is he? Yeah. Okay. So, Brendan, yeah. just think about the people that are employed. The, the, the tunnels underneath here, which are still under Stoke now, run miles and miles and miles, and all of the different pits are all linked up together under, on, on the under, underground roads. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it, to think... I mean, that's it. They've got, literally, most mines just have one of that one, but there's three shafts there, four it's, shafts. It's a different, they're different lives altogether. To the lives that we live today yeah you know the men back then because let's be honest in that kind of industry it yeah was, it was men wasn't it that was working that. the first one here made it a brick that would have been the 1800s so that would have been they'd have had a kid stay in the mine by then yeah you know yeah. and then you off to the mine kind of thing. yeah and then obviously as technology's changed and and for instance steam and what have you you know operates the winding gear but you know what a crazy place this world would be in if obviously the energy crisis right now places like that actually yeah. came back into you and this this <laughs> still it's still it's still under the ground isn't it yeah you know it's all still there yeah, yeah. who'd have thought that a fossilized forest i mean it's crazy to think that miles under the ground that there's layers of coal which were once the surface of the, the surface originally yeah, yeah. that yeah. madness isn't it thousands upon thousands of years mate. yeah i think it's a very it's just silent isn't it
Here we are back at the vehicles now and now we're going off to Willington um, for a bit of stealthy stealthy urban exploring. I don't think we're going to be the only ones in there either. Well, who's that? That's a three point turn going on there, Brendan. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, it is hot today, it's quite humid. Anyway, we're off to Willington Power Station now. Goodbye, Charlie Whitfield. I honestly could not have given the boys a big enough area to turn around in. So, en route to Willington, um, Matty uh, waves me off into the services and it's quite clear as day that there is no room at these services. I don't know what he wants there. Anyway, we just carry on up the road. So, as we head to Willington, um, I pull over in the lay-by like you've just seen and Matty tells me that Brendan has stopped for a McDonald's in the massive queue that's in there as if time constraints weren't tight enough he's stopping for a McDonald's and he arrives at Willington 45 minutes later. have come into view so it's a little bit wet but there they are the Willington power station if you if you are uh, on my monumental channel which you're probably watching this on you'll know I'm no stranger to these beauties I came on a beautiful sunny day right we are gonna gonna have to get a move on now we're in, out, shake it all about, back in the cars, and then we're in Bakewell. <laughs> right, there's the farm there, right? right. So we just got to keep, keep left. Let's go for it. No messing about. We're off. We'll go in, right? It's off. So we're just coming up now to the uh, to the access point. Well, I hope it's still the access point into the power station. Ele electric fence. Did you get that? Come on, quick! Proper Just ball. get over the fucking fence. Is it a proper ball thing? <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I, as I just found out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did right. actually. And the water didn't make that situation. There, there's, there's the mark of the day. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. May I take this opportunity to apologise in advance? And anybody who wants to leave the channel, I wouldn't blame you. Glorious, long to reign over us. God save the, the king. king. That was right, wasn't it? Beautiful. That that'll be released. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you cannot get the cool, the cooling. Brendan explores cut. cooling tower. <laughs> cooling tower special. <laughs> So what, that is the question. So we've got the Queen's, the King's coronation going on. Still, the Queen's still alive, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> right? You've got the Queen's coronation, King's coronation going on. What are we doing on a road trip? Are we not royalists? I'm no, I'm just gonna sound quite indifferent. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Get, I, don't I don't. Me. I don't like or dislike. You know, I don't. No. Cross. And that's not me sitting on the fence. That's just genuine. No, Do you I, I, I'm anti-monarchist. Are oh, you really? I don't see the point in it. You know what? Yeah. My, a bit of tourist. Can I can I add mine in? If that's all right with you guys, <laughs> I'd add it in because I think what I, what I think what's sorry about this country is that we can come together for something like this, have all the street parties all come together collectively, yet we can't come together and sort out people who are, who are ripping off our country off yeah. blind. 
I'm not, I, and I'm just talking about like the gas companies and all the yeah. energy bills yeah. and all of that. Yeah, yeah. Right, we can't we can't come together for that and say actually, you know what, we're not having this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, country is very good at doing that though. France, the French, the yeah. French. They yeah. come together and they stick the two fingers up when they need to, yeah. and they get they get shit. Yeah, up. and that's it. And that's, that's how you get political. And that's, <laughs> the, that, and that's the only reason why I don't believe in all of that. And actual fact, we're paying. We pay for the royal family. Yeah. Why? It's a tourist attraction. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. Are, tourist and that's why, that's why, we we we're, we're to, out because we're to, doing something different. To, to be honest, I'm I'm starting to wonder with the amount of this is the best interview I've ever done. Cheeky, actually, uh, admission here. I did actually go to a creation party yesterday. But, oh dear! But just for the cake, just for the che- the sandwiches, the buffet. Uh, no, it was from well, my son. Dave, 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 here, Steve, it's a question for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm the fucking oracle. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> why is the Why are the rocks green? Well, it's that a, one's a white. That's because it's all irradiated. You're going to be dead in a week. <laughs> no, it is purely where the water catches, right? So, yeah. the, where where the water is dripping down off the off the shape or from the I middle or what have you. Now let's have some peace and quiet while I take my one thousand pound Mavic Mini Free Pro up through the calling tower. Well, folks, that's Willington Power Station all done, dusted and wrapped up. I want to do a special on Brendan at some point, you know, about, about you know, his, his political views and things like that. <laughs> well, folks, we are at the Monster Trail. Now that is a pretty impressive waterfall. Well, I can't say we haven't some injured parties here. Poor Matty's suffering with his feet over here, look. Matty's made it, that's the main thing. Brendan, he is looking, he is sort of looking a bit like he's had a weekend at Brighton right now. <laughs> it's probably something I'm better off just doing on my own. <laughs> 